forests is to log selectively. Instead of clear-cutting all the trees in a given area, some loggers cut only a few of the trees, leaving others to continue to grow. This is called sustainable forestry. Sustainable forestry means that the forests are not cut down faster than they can grow back. Sustainable forestry can ensure that there will be timber jobs in the future. Sustainable forestry can also ensure that there will still be healthy forests for the species that depend on them. Why should we care about what happens to other species? What difference does biodiversity make? There are several answers to these questions. One is that we should respect the right of other species to exist with us on the planet that we share. We need to recognize that our actions affect other living things, and all species are part of what makes the Earth distinctive and special. It's life. Another answer is that even if we take a selfish point of view, the loss of other species is also a loss to us. The diversity of plants and animals enriches our own lives. If we lose this diversity, we ourselves become impoverished. We have already lost much. No one will ever again see the unusual dodo bird that was killed for its meat. In the 1800s, passenger pigeons were common, but they were hunted to extinction. There are other things we lose. Many plants have proved useful not only as food, but as sources of medicines. Rainforests contain thousands of species of plants that haven't even been identified. Some of these plants may hold the cures for diseases such as cancer. Just as there is more than one answer to the question of why biodiversity matters, there are many ways to preserve it. We've seen how countries such as Kenya and Costa Rica have set aside large areas as protected parks to limit the destruction of habitat. These parks serve as safe havens for different species. They attract tourists from around the world and help the local economies. For some species, captive breeding holds promise for helping to preserve them. Individuals can play a role, for example, by not buying pets that are threatened or endangered species. Governments can help by passing laws that protect species and that protect the environment from pollution that can harm living things. There are encouraging signs that such efforts work. Twenty-five years ago, the American alligator seemed on the brink of extinction because its habitat was being destroyed and it was being hunted for its skin. Today, because of laws against hunting it, the alligator has made a dramatic comeback. The American bald eagle, a national symbol, almost disappeared. Today, the bald eagle is no longer on the list of endangered species. However, if such successes are to become more common, we humans have to do a better job of recognizing our responsibilities to other species that share our planet. We need to recognize that the Earth does not belong to us, but that we belong to the Earth. We are merely one part in the complex web of life. Whatever we do to this web, we do to ourselves.